and code surprisingly is. <laughs> so I think there's uh, there's an interesting point here because I do believe coding is like the perfect first thing for uh, for ag for uh, these LLMs yeah. and uh, agents, and that's because coding has always fundamentally uh, worked around text. It's computer terminals and text, and everything is based around text. Yeah. And LLMs, the way they're trained on the internet, love text. And so they're perfect text processors, yeah. and there's all this data out there, and it's just perfect fit. Um, and also we have a lot of infrastructure pre-built for handling uh, code and text. So for example, we have a Visual Studio Code or you know right. um, your favorite um, uh, IDE showing you code. Um, and an agent can plug into that. So for example, if an agent has a diff where it made some change, we suddenly have all this code already that shows all the differences to a code base uh, using a diff. So we've it's almost like we've pre-built a lot of the a lot of the infrastructure for code. Now, contrast that with some of the things that that don't enjoy that at all. So as an example, like um, there's people trying to build automation, not for coding, but for example, for slides. Like I saw a company doing slides. That's much, much harder. And the reason it's much, much harder is because slides are not text. Yeah, uh, Slides are little graphics and they're arranged spatially and uh, there's visual components to it. And, um, and slides uh, don't have this pre-built infrastructure. Like for example, if an agent is to make a different uh, change to your slides, how does a thing show you the diff? How do you see the diff? There's no, there's no, nothing that shows diffs for slides. Mm -hmm. So someone has to build it. Um, so it's just some of these things are not amenable to AIs as they are, which is text processors. And code surprisingly is. <laughs>